All right, so we are going to try this again. I'm trying some new stuff. Uh, you guys should notice that I have chat right in the game, so hopefully you guys will be able to see the chat and stuff in the uh, recordings and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is Jide yet again. I have mail involving something. I don't know why. All right, so we are going to try this again. I'm trying some that. new stuff. Uh, you guys should notice that I have chat right in the game, so hopefully you guys will be able to see the chat. Okay, so works better when I'm not re-recording myself, which is always fun. So yeah, um, we'll. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play and 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 see what's going on and. Yeah. Let's do this again. Sergeant Knox gave me something. Okay, I'll look at that later. Alright, so, last time we did this, uh, I was... I can't even remember what I was doing. Oh, I need to go to the sewers. So that's where I'm gonna go. And shinies! Me like it, the shinies. What the... Really? Oh. Don't do that. That's much nicer. Sorry, I had to adjust a few things on my my thingy ma thingy thing. Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll go with that. All right. I think right now I am just talking to myself, which is not the worst thing in the world. So, um, last time I streamed, I uh, I split it up into uh, fifteen-minute segments to make it a little easier to watch. Um, Nobody really watched it, so this time I'm going to try just uploading it as one big spiel and see if that uh, if that works better for people. So, yeah. I'm going... And I think I've gotten all these sound issues fixed, so... Lots of people walking around. I don't know why I just randomly decide to break out into song whenever I'm doing something that I guess is menial. I'll just be like, oh, la di da di da. I like to sing stupid songs. And somebody just tweeted. Uh, yes. I think I'm always just going to leave that on because it's really awesome and I love that sound. So, sewer, 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 sewer. There's a sewer around here. I know that. Here it is. Let's go in the sewers. Do, do, ba, do, do, do. And I'm in the sewers. And I've discovered a new... Oh, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I've played this about a billion times, and I never thought to look to my left. Brilliant. And there's a trap, which goes bye-bye. And some dude lying down. Sleeping on the job, not very cool. Just need a rest for a bit. Hello, friend. <coughs> Recover 12 scrolls from the sewers. Yes, that's right. I will definitely do your job for you, because that's what I do. What? No, I don't need any payment. The experience is enough. Now I have to remember how this stuff works again. Here. Boom. Boom. Ah, I just like riding a bike. If a bike could teleport. Uh, yeah. It'd be a pretty cool bike, to be honest. Teleport and bike? I mean, come on. How, how could you not? Like, awesomest bike ever. I would totally want a teleporting bike. Bye-bye. Cobolds. I'm gonna try something fancy. I'm not sure if I can pull this off, but I'm gonna try. I teleport up. Oh. Yeah, I'm just that cool. Then those stupid iron lockbox thingies. That was pretty cool, though. You gotta admit that, you know, watching me port is... I actually have no idea if that's any fun to watch, so let me know, you know, in the comments or whatever. 
if, uh, if it's actually enjoyable to watch me uh, teleport up cliffs. Because I think it's pretty cool. And I don't think I can do this. No, I don't have a nature skill or kit. Goodbye, little kobold. Goodbye, little trap. It is so annoying when you're playing this game and you're not a, uh, a rogue, because you don't see the traps until you step on them. And there's nothing you can do. You can have theory kits, whatever, only rogues can disarm traps. And so you'll just be walking around like in a dungeon or somewhere, and it'll be like, and you're dead. And it's not very much fun. Ooh, it's a dragon shield. Not a very good dragon shield, because he dropped pretty quickly. I'm starting to drop. There we go. Time to open the treasure chest. And apparently that was the wrong move. And... Now, spiders are the worst monsters ever. Like, there's nothing good about them, ever. Like, have you ever played a game where it's like, and the spiders came, and it was good, because spiders are friendly. No, they are always evil, and they're a pain in the ass to kill, every single time. Just goes to show you, even in the video game world, spiders are bad. And for those of you wondering, yes, I sincerely despise spiders in general. Really, anything more than about f with more than about four legs is just not really for me. And now these little mini spiders. And see, that's even worse. That one, not only do you kill the spider, which you're like, yay, I killed the spider. But then it blows up into baby spiders. Like, that's the stuff of nightmares. Kind of. Re yeah. Dagger of Sweetness. Why can't I use it? Because I'm too young. Except I'm probably not going to use Well, I can use it in my offhand. That's right, I'm talking to myself. Hey, Elias! Yeah, I, I gotta say, you know, the, the spider bosses in Zelda, like, Goma was a ton of fun. And I have huge, fantastic memories of uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Um, I had the gold Ocarina of Time one that you had to pre-order and everything for. So I, I loved the game, but yeah, I just, I really do not like spiders. They're evil and, and need to die. So I guess, you know, playing games like this is kind of therapeutic for me, because I get to kill spiders. Which is good. But, yeah. By the way, if you guys have anything you want me to try, or you want to tell me, like, the volume is all wacky or wonky or anything like that, just say something in the comments. There is another tweet. I love that sound. <laughs> like, I, it never gets old to me. Other people, maybe it gets old. Me, never. It's always fun when I get into Twitter conversations with people, because then uh, it goes like super crazy, hardcore, like every other minute I get this You know, there's just something empowering about being able to throw a dagger, kill somebody, teleport, kill another person, then roll and kill one more... well, they're not persons, they're... They're kobolds. Hello, Dragon Shield. I'm going to wait for my super powerful attack to charge it up and then... Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. God. Eh, 
and the last of my scrolls for that kind of deadbeat. Ha! <laughs> I made it funny, because he was dying. And I called him a deadbeat. That's right, puns are in this year. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> now that I've read your comment, Elias, I realize how, like, serial killer-esque that sounded, and that was not my intention. There's some hurlers. Is it bad that whenever I see the word hurlers, I instantly start thinking about uh, Wayne's world? Man, if you hurl, then I'm gonna spew. Man, if you spew, then... Ooh, I just killed 50 kobolds. So can you guys, uh... Can you guys read the, uh, the chat actually in the stream? Uh, cause that... Is hopefully my intention, so that when people are watching this on my YouTube channel, uh, I don't look quite as crazy uh, talking to nothing. Oh look, I got a broken idol. False idols. Look at that. Then we open up the treasure chest, and I get armor that I can't use. There's a lot of no's going on here. Okay. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to level up after this, and it'll... Uh, Help me out a little bit. Another tweet. I really should check Twitter, but it's so much more fun to just listen to that and pretend that I know what they're saying. <laughs> you are famous, Elias. Come on, when me, you, and Bear came up with the Mario porn, I mean, that's fame right there. Shove off. You got the scrolls? Good. Your money. Oddly's gonna pull through, by the way. It's good. Okay. Cobalt bugger popped one of his lungs. Come on. My jewelry. You found it. Kind of a bizarre look for a uh, for a jeweler, if I do say so myself. Okay. And what else am I doing? I'm still not high enough. Uh, so I can do something else that's really kind of fun, which is the foundry. This is Bow Character 1. Interesting. Uh, this is user created content, and this is actually one of my favorite. Well, here, let's go turn this one in so I can get rid of this quest. I'm like super OCD. It's a frost mimic! Yay! Uh, if I have a quest that I need to turn in, uh, it drives me nuts if it just kind of sits there on my screen. So, yeah. I'm gonna talk to her. Do you have astral diamond? Thank you for it. Get 28 whole experience points. Okay. So I'm a little bit lower level than I'd like to be, so I am going to level up one of the most enjoyable ways I know of, which is doing foundry stuff. Where are you? Tired of being hero. This is my favorite foundry quest. I have done this uh, probably a hundred times just because it's so awesome. Completely user created and you basically get to be the bad guy instead of the good guy. It's really cool. So, I'm going to accept this quest. Uh, one of the coolest things, Cryptic does this a lot. Apparently they do it in Star Trek Online as well, where they create an editor where uh, people can create their own stuff. And I've seen some really cool, really, really awesome stuff. Like they had one that was... Oh, uh, Castle Ravenloft inspired, if, if you're a fan of D&D itself. So, so cool. Like, I love Castle Ravenloft and, uh, you know, the, the gothic horror type stuff. I, I think it's so cool. And so, I'm going to go here. Now, where I'm supposed to go is the Tower District, but I'm going to go to the Volcano Ruins, because that's where this specific quest takes me. Do, 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 do. Hey, it's DJ. Oh, um, to add
add me on Neverwinter. Uh, by the way, hi DJ. Uh, to add me on Neverwinter, um, anyone that that plays Neverwinter, 100% free to play. It's really really awesome. Um, to add me, my uh, my overall login name thing is Jedi Pug, because nobody ever takes it. And uh, yeah, there's a rather long story behind it that I'm not going to get into, but uh, yeah. So uh, this character's name is Jide, but in order to add any characters, you have to have like their uh, I don't know what they call it, their handle or whatever. So this is Jide at Jedi Pug. Uh, my other ones are Tarwin at Jedi Pug or Galindin at Jedi Pug. But if you just add at Jedi Pug, uh, it'll add all my characters for you. So yeah, you can go ahead and do that. So uh, backstory: you have gotten to the end of an epic quest line in Dungeons and Dragons and you're about to destroy this ring and so you have all these people. You have Vogue the Rogue. Finally it's over. We can throw it in now and be done with do, 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 do. all of this. It was a pleasure fighting beside you, Jide. Uh you too, I think. And Eric the Cleric. Really catchy names. Well done, Jide. It wasn't an easy task getting to this point, but we succeeded. Thanks to me, of course. Mm, aren't we a team? Why, of course. However, I did do all the work. Something tells me that you're full of yourself. Yes, the dialogue in this is very wonderfully written. And then, Frank the Tank! Great job, Jide! We couldn't have done it without you! Yeah, you neither, although we did have a cleric, so you weren't really a tank. Aha! It's humorous banter! And then this, my conscience. This is the coolest part. Alright, so, I go boot to do. This is it, Jide. The perfect moment to put our plan into motion. Which I will respond, I don't know what you're talking about. We don't care about these people. Frank doesn't hold aggro, the rogue has connection issues, the cleric is an elitist jerk, and the mage needs on every piece of loot that drops. Anyone that has ever played an MNO understands all of this immediately. Uh, hmm, yes, these are all valid reasons to be upset with my current group members. Exactly, so let's do it. Do what? You can't see it, but I'm face palming right now. See, beautifully written. Look, it's not that complicated. We go up there and pretend to celebrate with the dumb mage. We ask to do the honors of throwing the artifact into the volcano. She will stupidly agree. Then, while everyone else admires your heroic bravery, we deliver some cheesy one-liner and then, boom, we push her over the ledge. What about the rest of the party? Valid question. The tank will sit in on all your red circles because he doesn't know how to move out of the way or block. The cleric will be shouting at everyone trying to get them to do as he says, whilst also preaching about his epic gear score and MMO experience. And the rogue? Really? Isn't that one obvious? The rogue will most likely disconnect. And if he doesn't, then he will probably lag into the lava and kill himself. This sounds really extreme. Let's do it! So, now I get to go up here. Doo -doo -doo. Sage the Mage. Jide, I don't know what to say. It's finally over. We've been through a lot, haven't we? All the bards across the server were zone chat about our exploits. We discovered the ancient Faldron ruins, fought hordes of undead demons, drow, and other various creatures. Go on. In the end, it all came down to Vogue, who magically sealed our finally enemy in a nearby wall, hindering him completely and allowing us to finish him off with barely a scratch. A tale for the ages. And the ring? Yes, all that's left now is to toss this ring into the volcano, forever destroying the power and evil it possesses. Mind if I do the honors? Of course you may. After you do this, our quest will be complete and you'll be a hero. We will all be heroes. And then you get to pick, and I think my personal favorite one is, what do you think the boiling point of human flesh is? Sage begins to blush. She replies in a playful tone. And I love how she flirts like her avatar flirts, too. Oh, my child, stop it. It's not time now for flirtations. Wait, what? No, I was trying to... <laughs> Never mind. Pushes Sage off the cliff. Bye-bye. And then they get all pissed because they're dorks. Cleric goes down first. 
and we're going to get laggy here. And I think I'm just going to... Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Can't touch this. Pick up my epic loots that really aren't all that epic. And then the mysterious stranger. Do do do. Well done, well done. I knew it was only a matter of time before you snapped. Nice guy, weird looking mask. What do you mean, you knew? Who are you? I have been following you for quite some time, waiting for the opportunity to recruit you into the dark folds of shadow. It would seem that time is upon us. Betrayal of your former companions was all the reassurance that I need. As for my name, that is unimportant. Which my response would have been, hi unimportant, I'm Jide. But obviously my humor is lost. Ah, uh, you're tired of being the hero, correct? All your life you have fought for goodly people of this realm. You have acquired title after title, glory after glory, but it is enough, is it? At the end of the day, it's just another shiny title, another fleeting moment of glory, and then you finally realize that there will be more. A lot more. Suddenly the benefits don't seem so rewarding. Being the hero has become boring, wouldn't you say? Yes. Yes to all that. What should I do? I know you. I know your soul, Jide. And it tells me you want to take a new path. The evil path. You prove that much today. I will set you on your way to infamy, but first, you have to do something for me. And no, no sexual favors are in, you know, anywhere in this specific storyline. You must give me the ring that you just sold. It belongs to me and I will have it back. In return, I will give you your choice of five powerful artifacts. I'm just checking stuff. Yes, that's it. Do, 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 do. Uh, um, I'm going to be a jerk, seen as I'm playing evil, and go, I don't think so. This ring must be very powerful if you want it that badly. Uh, if that's what you wish. I thought we could be friends. I'll just have to take it from you by force. Yeah, try it. You versus me. Because I'm uber-powered. Oh, my, you still have a lot to learn. I am evil, you know. Do you really think I fight fair? And you notice he has billions of ninjas. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. I'll take that trade now. Men's eyes light up at his mass ships. Shifts, uh, blah, 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 blah. Smart choice. And he gives me some choices. I get a choice between a staff, a whistle, an orb, a sword, and a ring. And each one does different stuff that I can't remember, so I am going to go with the sword. The sword radiates a supreme heat. Somehow you get the feeling that if your heart wasn't dark, it would turn you to ash. This thought brings you a sense of comfort. And I'm going to take the sword. And this is just more boring stuff. Thank you for this opportunity. I know what I have to do. Boring, boring, boring. Pick up token of darkness. Pick up the sword. And now I get to go do stuff. You guys didn't think you'd get a show as well as... Well, a show... Yeah. Alright. Here's Commander Drin. And he asks, where are the rest of the heroes? Your heroes are dead. Oh, what happened to them? Where's the ring? The ring is gone. Traded, really. You can see the gears in Drin's mind working. He finally starting to catch on. What do you mean, traded? How did your companions die? I killed them, pushed the mage into the vol volcano, and slaughtered the rest. Kind of boring. And I'm going to just say, my blades will find your throat. Blah, blah, blah. I want to kill you. And he apologizes for having to kill me. Which is funny, because I'm not going to apologize for killing him. Die. Now I get to go play with other bad guys. Well, technically these are the good guys. I'm the bad guy. And I gotta remember, because I get to recruit cool people. Hi, bad dude. That just randomly disappeared. Glitch! Anyone remember the TV show Reboot? Yeah, that was a cool TV show. I liked it. They're gone. 
this one. I can't do that because I don't have the right item. So you can actually do this thing five different times and each time it's a little bit different and it's so much fun. Uh, more bad guys. Is there anything? No, there's nothing over there. Let's go kill some people. Hi, Mr. Guard. Mr. Guard is dead. Really? Man, it's like these guys don't like me or something. Stop shooting me! I mean, not only is it rude, but it's unbelievably inconsiderate. You know, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, go around, kill everybody, and you guys are peppering me full of arrows. Not cool. And the dwarf goes down. Rolly, rolly, rolly. Yeah, every time I... <laughs> Every time I roll, I automatically start singing in my head. Roll, 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 roll. Now, I think this is where I get my first group of friends. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a different place. Yeah, this is the wrong place. Somewhere. Really? Did I just glitch out? Oh, excellent. I have just glitched. Here's a Mind Flayer. Kind of wicked looking dude. I don't really want to talk to him, because he's boring. And I can't kill him, so... You know, there's that. Now are you going to let me come out? There we go. Much better. That's a big pile of rock. Again, anything shiny uh, you can do things with, uh, but it all depends on which artifact you took. And I didn't take the artifact, so let me do anything with those things. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is where it is. Yep, yeah, I get to go here. Nope, I can't do that either. Damn. I want to do something cool. Let's just go kill some more stuff. <laughs> the solution to everything. There's a hero. There's a dead hero. Bye-bye, hero. Oh, look. Here we go. Wavering bookcase. Now I get friends. So, charred skeletons. Uh, boring stuff boring stuff. And then this. And now, look at what I got! I've got a demonic chick and a bunch of imps. Which is very cool. I might have been holding the sword at the end of the blade. Or, no, that dude, oh, I think the dude you were talking about was, uh, he was dual wielding, and so... And these... Don't do anything, they're just beer. Well, ale, but... The, uh... Rogue becomes a lot more fun to play once you can... Uh, once you can use stealth.
And they're all done. I got a belt of vitality somehow. Alright, where'd my chick go? Chick! Come on! I mean, I can't get one in real life. At least I should be able to get one in the game. Now I use the Fire Lord Sword. How badass is that? Lots of demons. But for some bizarre reason, I thought... I think this thing is glitching, because I thought I was supposed to get a... Uh, fire dudes. Seems as the Fire Lord sword. I don't know, maybe I am supposed to get demons, I don't know. Maybe Fire Lord is another one, or the Fire One's another one. General Urzo. Loading screen. Loading screen. Come on. Loady, 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 load. Loady, 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 load. See, all I have to do is the motions and it starts loading. What else do we got? So, who else is watching? I see DJ Artie and uh, Elias. Don't lurk! Join the festivities! Bye. Here I go, bye bye. Oh, look, a kit. Now I get to climb up the spiral staircase. Spiral zone! That's right, 80s, 80s cartoons. I hit the wrong button. There we go. I don't have any dudes with me right now because I'll get more later. Yes, Artie. Jedi Pug is rather awesome. And now I get to take out a druid. Which was my first MMO character, was a druid. And he just shocked the hell out of me. Looky, I turned into level 10. Alright, so I have my dog. Whom I named Wolverine supposed to be taking care of this guy. What's he do? Not a damn thing. I still get shot with lightning. I'm gonna level up real quick. Alright, now I get stealth. Yeah, I know. Stealth. And I get, what is this? Lurker's Assault or Whirlwind of Blades. I think I'm gonna go Whirlwind of Blades. I like this one. Level that up. Boop. Now I have a new daily power. Did that. My ability scores go up. I go higher dex. Charisma. Or strength. I'm going to go strength. Dex and strength. I'll do charisma next time. And now I get this stuff. Toughness. Crit chance. And I'm gonna go crit chance. I like crit chance. And I get toys and a pony and yeah. There we go. All right, so now I get to do cool stuff. Watch this. So I can cloak now. Go here. Teleport over there. 
very cool, right? Yeah, I know. Domination I am like so OCD about that stuff. Dismiss. I will do that later. It's a horsey! And there's more bad guys. Stealth is stealth! And each one of these does something different in stealth. I don't know what this one does. Oh, activation time reduced by 50%, so it does it faster. That one lets you teleport further, and that one gives you a guaranteed crit. There's a burly dwarf. Captain Cormac. I stop this madness, Jade. Stop right now and we can all go home. I do want to have to hurt you. Just put down your weapons, please. And then more beautifully written dialogue. You're you're right. What have I become? I'm a monster. Please forgive me, Cormac. The dwarf looks at you in shock, as if he can't believe his ears. Are you serious, Jade? Do you really mean it? Can we put this behind us? Can I go home to me wife and baby girl now? Yes, I am sorry for all the destruction I've caused. Do what you need to do. You'll be forgiven, Jade, I promise. Now please, for the safety of my men, hand over your weapons and the artifact. Okay, do you mean this artifact? Yes, hand it over now, Jade. Hmm, yeah. Change my mind. No, don't do it, Jade! There is another way! Demonic Legion! Woohoo! Disappear! Woohoo! He's done. Now I'm just gonna randomly throw daggers in there. Because I don't want to actually get hit. And I'm out of daggers. All done. And now the best part ever! Okay. You guys have to pay very close attention not only to the guys you're, I'm about to fight, but look at their color schemes and look at their names because that is why this is my favorite quest ever! All right, so now I have people coming to fight me, and their names are Jason, Kimberly, Zach, Trini, and Billy, and they're red, pink, Trini's yellow, Zach is black, and Billy is blue. And for those of you that haven't caught on yet, this is the Power Rangers! The original ones, like the Coco Power Rangers! All right, so more boring stuff, and Jason is flexing. Uh, boring stuff, boring stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. And now, time to kill things. And Jason takes a dirt nap. And Billy's going down and couldn't create anything to save himself. And where'd Trini go? Well, there's Zach. And there's Kimberly, and she goes down, so everybody's down. And now, just for icing on the cake, I'm gonna talk to Jason. And then, what do they do? What do the Power Rangers always do when faced with insurmountable odds? They activate the Megazord. That's right, folks. Not only does this battle end with you fighting the Power Rangers, but you get to fight the Megazord, which they call the ultimate mega hero. Which is very cool. And yeah, now I just finish off the quest by turning it in. More really boring stuff. Enough, tell me who you are, blah 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 blah. Magic box, truly evil, farewell. 
And then the one thing that sucks about the foundry stuff is uh, the items that you get from doing it are completely random and 90% of the time are completely worthless. But it was still fun. Yep, see, I get a great sword that I can't even use. And I'm not going to review it because I've reviewed this one about a dozen times. Again, I love this. Here we go. Ah, love this quest. So, yeah. I have thought about doing Let's Plays. Um, I technically, you know, I have all the equipment that I would technically need to do it, you know, I'd, uh, but I, uh, I guess technically the, the streaming thing, thing is Let's Plays, you know, I mean, that's what I'm doing, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, where am I going now? Oh, I have to go to the... PvP Battlemaster, which I'm not going to PvP on this character. I may do PvP eventually because I've got a my Hunter Ranger rocks at PvP. Uh, but at level 10, PvP kind of sucks here. Continue. Boring, boring. I don't want to queue for domination. The PvP uh, in this game is kind of lacking. There's not a whole lot of it. You basically just have this kind of... Uh, Kind of like a Rathi Highlands capture and hold type thing. And that's really all you can do. Uh, I have new stuff I can wear, don't I? Let's start identifying crap. And my new armor. Got that. Crit, or yeah, I like crit. Yeah. Here we go. I think that does it. All the rest of the stuff I can just sell. Hippers, all done. All right, now look how cool I look. Ooh, pretty. If you spend, I don't know, maybe an hour or so uh, just leveling up uh, on um, doing the foundry stuff, uh, you can breeze through the rest of the game pretty easily. Um, and a lot of the foundry stuff is really, really cool. So, yeah, definitely check out it. They've got little bits of everything. Um, and it's constantly getting bigger and bigger. And because people can, like, rate it and stuff like that, uh, the the crappy stuff you you Protection really don't see it. So. Need your help. Good work. Neverwinter has enough. You're not wants to, to learn about professions, which are kind of weird you in this game. But any time I like them. Money into pursuing a profession. Much of the city still needs to be reclaimed Keep and playing forever. The more skilled professionals we have for the process, the better. If you're interested in this, speak yeah, to Yeah, I'll just uh. Just go the catheter route. So can get you started. <laughs> I have no idea why it's so much fun to jump in uh, in MMOs, but. Like, every one I've ever done, ever, has always, you know, you always just, you jump. I remember in, um, in World of Warcraft, uh, if you were a night elf, uh, you would eventually do, like, a flip. Come on. Do you need supplies? Oh, Sergeant Knox okay, we're done with that. I have no idea what I'm going to make this guy do, as far as professions are concerned. Um, I do know artificing's boring. I've done that already. I already got a leather worker, a tailor. I think I'm just gonna like go hardcore leadership.
Come on. You can do it. Now I have a mercenary. And leadership is level one. So now we're gonna go basic training. Boop. Alright. So now... Now I'm gonna go to... I've got... Something in my mail. Oh, yeah, the gateway. Gateway's kind of cool. You can do your pr profession stuff without actually being logged into the game. So that's how, you know, crafting and stuff works, is you, you pick something and you make someone else do it for you, so you can, you know, actually have fun. I know, crazy idea, right? Mm-hmm. ESO. What is ESO? Um, I actually have two... I guess I don't anymore. I had two max level characters on um, the Old Republic. Uh, but then they released the thing and increased the level cap to uh, 65 and I haven't played since then. Um, it was a fun game, but it there were so many glitches and issues with it that I just it got to the point where I was just I got I was done. Uh, and the end game stuff was really boring. But leveling up your character is really awesome. Like I, I had an absolute blast doing that. Alright. Now I get to have fun. Hey look, it's orcs. Oh wow, my, my dog killed something. Hi, axe thrower. Hello, axe thrower. Really? Didn't I just kill you? God. The benefits package and the healthcare coverage for these guys must be insane. Like, not only did they not miss a day of work, they didn't miss, like, a second of work. And I killed them. I mean, that is... <laughs> that is your tax dollars going... Uh, dollars going to work. And I got a little chest. Hello, little chest. Oh, Residium. Beastmaster. Does anyone remember the Beastmaster? Am I the only person that knew what this thing was? Oh, cool. It just turned into level 11. Yay! Let's level up again. More power. I'm going to make that more powerful. Yay! Oh, what else do I get? Oh, I get a feed point. More crit. I've got to save people, don't I? Where are the people I'm supposed to be saving? I mean, yeah, killing people's fun and all, but... If I'm supposed to be saving... I'm supposed to be saving people, maybe... Maybe I should probably doing that. I realized that MMOs turn me into like a psychopathic killer, apparently. Hey look, monies. Nothing else in here. Just kinda chillin'. He looks like he could use some help. All right. Where are all the dudes I'm supposed to be saving? There's one. Hello, guard. Oh, 
Bye bye Oh look, I found another guard that needs to be freed. Wasn't even looking for one, I'm just like, oh look, things to kill. <laughs> Again with the creepy sociopathic talk. Oh, Elder Scrolls Online! I have heard good things about the people that are in... I think it's in closed beta right now. Because uh, I've heard a lot of people talking about it. I don't know, I was never a huge Elder Scrolls fan. Like, I, I had fun, I played Oblivion, I played Skyrim, and they were okay, but it took me like four years to actually get motivation enough to beat Oblivion. So, yeah. Hello, Mr. Guard. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I am very honored, DJ. Just you there words have not been created to describe the honor and and absolute amazement that I, I feel at this moment. Bye. All right, done with that. I have another game that I'm thinking about doing a stream up just to see how people react to it. Um, an old what's this? That sounds cool. So you, you got to do one of the, the closed beta weekends? That's kind of cool. Do you know when it actually uh, when it actually launches? Really? That was a waste of a perfectly good attack. Money, 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 money. Let's do that. I'm going to complete advanced training, and I'm getting attacked right now. Oh, I'm getting like major attacked. Holy crap. Bye bye, Drudge. Maybe there's a report about you. That's right, I just made a Drudge report joke. There really is no bottom for me to hit as far as puns go. So they will just continue to keep getting worse. Oh, I'm gonna go in there, because that's cool. Check this out, guys. Okay, super lag. But, then I get to go up here. See, there's there's things here. And I'm like, ooh, pretty, Wow! And Archmage, what's his name? Rickvin. I have no idea what the purpose of this is, but it looks cool. Omar. 
Oh, from two broke, uh, two broke geeks. I don't know. I, I, I've always been kind of a pun. Like I like, I like puns. Uh, but um, Hannah Hart and my drunk kitchen uh, got me to the point where I'm like, I, I have to, I just have to make puns all the time now. Um, so, yeah, I think. Uh, me, Omar, and uh, and Hannah Hart got together for some pun battles. I, I think that would be fairly epic. Now I hope once I get to the point where I can run a dungeon, I'll be able to stream that for you guys, because that's fun. The only issue is it takes forever to get a, enough people together to uh, to to run. Like they have a they have a matchmaking system in here, uh, but for dungeons in general, especially the lower end ones, it can take you know 20, 30 minutes to do it. So I think when I get to the point where I'm you know dungeon ready, I will probably. Uh, jump in the queue right at the beginning of the stream and hopefully by the end of the stream be able to do it. <laughs> Is there an appropriate time for a pun? You know, can puns be appropriate? I think that's a question for the ages. All right, here in the central time zone. Dude, she looks cool. What is she wearing? Stuff that's much cooler than me. Wow, where'd you get silent play? Oh, because you're level 30 something. That's why. I'm trying to figure out why she's so cool and I'm so not. It's because she's level 30. Well, in the lovely central... Well, I'll go a little bit further. It's uh, a little after 10 o'clock in the central time zone. And due to me having visited... Oh, look, Riku. Um, me having visited... Uh, what was it? Oh, Seattle. Uh, recently. I uh, My sleep schedule is all screwed up. So I'm trying to trying to force myself back into a regular sleep schedule, especially if I get this new job that I'm trying for. So, yeah. Uh, I'll have to <laughs> I'll have to actually sleep normal hours. So I will probably be ending this shortly after I finish these quests. Firebugs. Elemental weevils. I have just discovered I have a terrible fear of getting killed by orcs. Yeah, they used to have this really cool place of worship where they all gathered. Yeah, it was the Temple of Elemental Weevils. And the only people that will get that joke um, are uh, people that used to play D&D &D back in, like, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons before they had numbers. Which just so happens to be one of my favorite adventures, too. Temple of Elemental. Alright, this dude is really starting to grief me. Because I'm trying to pick up these things and he keeps picking them up first. Yeah, I killed 50 orcs. Dude, these guys are falling from the sky. Look for more of these weevils. Evils wobble, but they don't fall down. 
don't know why I don't get to kill him. We'll send these orcs to meet their oh, because he's <laughs> he's a dwarf, not an orc. Guess I'm just getting a little bit trigger happy. Another one! Yay! Another one! Only need two more. And the stupid griefer's gone. There's one. I'm gonna try. I haven't used my my new daily yet. That was kind of cool. Yeah, gotta admit that that was that was pretty cool. One more of these stupid things, and then I get to go. Come on! Ha! Ah, I found one! Yay! Happy time, happy time, happy, happy, happy time. I'm gonna have to fight you, aren't I, Wolf? Isn't this such a lovely place with all the everything broken? Nice place to vacation. If you guys remember from my last, or my first stream, when I was streaming on my cleric, uh, there's lots of cool stuff you can do here. Well done. done with that. Leveled up again. I don't know what it is about these guys in sewers, but they like. This is one of the. Each area has this little uh, like contest you can do, and the one for this one is called relic hunting. And it's really kind of dumb. Like I hate this How one. Are you, friend? Uh, and I'm done with your stupid little firebugs. All right, let's level up again. What else do I get? Let's go, Dazing Strike. Because that's useful. And the Broker, which is another boring thing that I've never used. Alright, well, it's getting kind of late, guys, so I'm gonna... Oh, I've got NASCAR Chick again. Hi, NASCAR Chick. Oh, and Blair. Hi, Blair. How are you? Oh, the chat overlay. Um, I will, uh, I will show you. Uh, I'll post a link. There is a, a a video that I found on how to do it, and um, yeah, really really cool. Uh, and I think it I, I think it looks a lot better than the one that I was using before. Um, so yeah. Um. So anyway, it's kind of late. Dismiss. It's kind of late. Um, I'm. I think I am going to uh, log off and, and end this for tonight. Uh, but again, guys, uh, you can always find uh, records of this stuff on uh, my personal channel. It's uh, YouTube.com/trainerjody. Um, uh, and I also do other cool stuff. And this morning I released the latest episode of D and D High on the All for Geek Alliance, which is my collaboration channel. And uh, yeah, so check that out. Uh, YouTube.com/slash All for Geek Alliance. Um, they also have uh, we have a, uh, another person named Tommy that does uh, a bi-weekly hangout show um, about what's it called? Um, oh, about voiceover work um so yeah and uh my brother actually uh releases this thing called digidub which is a uh, digimon uh if you guys remember that uh, it's in a bridge series where he basically redubs he has the the footage and then redubs it with funny stuff and i'm one of the voice actors for that so if you guys want to check that out um i believe his uh his website for that is digidub i i, I post links about it um i'm going to be recording more dialogue for the next episode probably in the next couple of days and as soon as I find out, I have one last interview that's tomorrow. Uh, as soon as I find out whether or not I get this job, I will let everybody know. I'll also reveal to you what the job actually is. So, yeah. Um, 
that's going to be all for me tonight, and uh, I will see you guys uh, next time I do this. And uh, I will, uh, I'll post, a, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send you, I'll post a link on Twitter, Blair, about how to do the, the overlay thing, because it worked fairly well, and I really like it. So, uh, yeah, goodbye, everybody. I'm going to, I'm going to end this, because it's, it's, it's getting late for me.